I'm filming this in the middle of July 2020, and like many areas of the, of the world, we're starting to see a resurgence of the COVID-19 outbreak. So like many of you, I'm carrying with me pretty much at all times a face mask out of respect for others. Um, I still have a desire to photograph, a need to photograph things and express myself that way. And I've actually found the social distancing that we need to do almost freeing in ways. I find I, I go to areas that are a little more isolated, a little more back to nature. Um, a lot of my photography tends to be more portrait oriented, oriented more uh, urban oriented. Um, and I actually miss, I really miss the landscape and the macro work and just connecting back to nature. So what I've done today is come to Pine River Nature Center, um, which turns out is closed um, other than they have the, the trails open for us to walk and see. It's actually one of my favorite local places to come to, to do some macro photography work. Um, in the fall, there's quite a bit of uh, mushrooms and other fungus here to photograph. I'm not sure, I don't think I've ever been here in the middle of July to see what's here, um, that we can do some macro work with, um, but we're gonna, we're gonna find out together. So I brought this, um, you can see it there, it's a Minolta Rockar lens. Uh, 55 millimeter f1.7 um, that I picked up um, at a um, either at an estate sale or something I, I frequent those a lot and sometimes you find some nice bargains I absolutely love this little lens um, the the background blur the bokeh to me is just just beautiful um, and it has a, a film like soft rendering quality and I've done some beautiful macro work with this lens in the past so we'll be trying this lens out. What's gonna to make today interesting is it's kind of mid-morning. Um, so the sun is starting to get kind of high up in the sky. Um, it's not noon, so it's still morning light, but definitely not blue hour or golden hour in the morning. So it's not our prime idea of light. And part of this is you probably just like me can't always get out and photograph at those perfect times and those perfect lighting times don't last very long. So what do we do? What do we do in the rest of the day um, when the lighting isn't necessarily perfect and how can we set up our shots? So that's what we're gonna be exploring a little bit today and working on as well. It did take a long time to set up. Usually shoot photographs like this handheld and I may go back to that. Um, I was setting up on the tripod to kind of make it a little easier for, um, for the video purposes for you to see what's going on. So I'll show you what I see in my viewfinder right now. So what I have, it may not be the most artistic photograph in the world or the best composed in the world, but it's, so it's this fungus right here on top is where I'm focused at. And um, um, this guy right here. And I don't like to do focus stacking, so I'm not doing that. I'm gonna to have to obviously block the sun a little bit. So in the bright sunlight, this is what I'm seeing right now. And uh, so we're gonna zoom in and make sure we're in focus on this guy. And uh, so then I will use, cause I'm a, have the vintage lens, I've got the Minolta lens on there. So I just wanna get myself focused on a good point right there and uh, we should be good. So I saw this little guy right here, this mushroom, and uh, that's what I really want to get. Now I've got a um, 10 millimeter extension tube on this. I'm still using that uh, Minolta 55 millimeter F17 lens, and I'm gonna do handheld.
So for working without autofocus, one thing you can do is pre-focus on a point, leave that focus lever alone, and then ever so slightly float yourself backwards and forwards until you hit that exact focus point and then depress your shutter. Much easier than continuing to try to turn that little focus dial and uh, when you're moving and the focus dial is moving, it's too many moving parts. Keep the focus locked down, move yourself back and forth, just float back and forth until you get that sharp focus you're looking for. This really is a wonderful local park. One of the great features that it has is this tree house. It's a popular spot where people come and have their lunch. Families will bring their children and they'll sit and they'll play. One time when I was here, there was even a wedding. With all the stresses that we have in the world right now and all the uncertainty, it's great to have a place that you can go to that is solid, is serene, and is secure, where you can just enjoy a walk in the woods, a time with nature, and just a time to appreciate the beauty of this world that we all have the privilege to live in. So as I was walking out of the um, tree house here at the Pine River Nature Center, I saw this on the tree. I walked right by it and uh, I got to show it to you. So there's an eye in that and I'm wondering if I can do a high contrast black and white and uh, we'll see if that ends up looking like anything. Maybe the worst photograph I've ever taken in my life or maybe something kind of interesting. Let's find out. I believe there is a good photograph to be made of this tree, but this was not the day for it. And in fact, I'll show you right here. I tried a few different edits, some high contrast. I tried to do some splay of light. Nothing ever worked on this. If you have any ideas on how to make this tree look good, let me know. may about wrap us up for this journey and this trip today. Um, the light is just so brutal and so harsh and the mushrooms in my tiny world um, that I'm looking for is so sparse. Um, but it was a beautiful morning to uh, take a walk in the Pine River Nature Center. Again, mostly deserted during these pandemic times. As I walk out of the park, if I see any other little shots, I'm gonna take them. I probably won't vlog I'm taking the photographs. So they'll just be presented at the end. Um, but again, as always, thanks for coming with me on this journey.